Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Final Fantasy Revex's video, and today we're going to go ahead and check out my foolproof clear on Clash of Wills, the... whatever his name is. Tree of Unknown Origin. So, first of all, let's go through the gear. I'm pretty confident that this is not really something that anyone else has done, but there's a chance... there's a lot of smaller YouTuber, YouTube videos out there that could potentially have done the same strategy as this, so keep that in mind. I don't want anyone calling me out in the comment section for this one. Anyways, we have a fire weapon. It could be any fire weapon as long as it's what he can equip. We have Venturing with Friends. We have Mood Maker. We have Call of the Wild. We have uh, Knight's Metal. As long as uh, your ice, water, and light resistance is over not negative, then you're fine. You're fine. And this vision card's fine. It, do it doesn't matter that much. Luminous Close. Recruits pouch just in case, but I figured out a way of not, uh, there's, there's a point, there was one run where my, uh, carton fell asleep because we did something wrong, but I corrected that. Now I don't really need, it's just there just in case I actually absolutely need it, but I don't think we need it anymore. Elena, do double Moogle charm. We have Epsilon, Star Mask. These are all five star TMRs. Aiden's trench coat, five star, five star TMR. All these are, uh, seven star S TMRs. And TMRs. And we also have Memories of Below the Surface. If you have this, I would, I would definitely recommend getting it. If you have other ways of gearing her for this amount of resistances, go ahead and do that. We need 200%. So go ahead and get that. We have Nicole for as much LB fill as possible with Manufactured Nethocyte. And Manufactured Nethocyte on the other side as well. And as much stuff as we can possibly gear, no vision card needed. Titus with Tearfring. Hope you guys got that. Because there's not a lot of other options for non-elemental two handed swords. So hope you guys were able to get that. I made a mistake and I bought this. I did not mean to buy this, but it's it helped out anyways, I guess. So it's it's something. And yeah, so we have that vision card, but if you have anything oh there's not really much better than that so so we have 30 percent plane killer we have 125 percent aquatic killer just because we were able to flame flame weapon on uh on laura and we have all this stuff in a brave shift form we have two gothic amulets we have a bunch of attack i don't have the clothes, of course, since it's on Titus, but I don't have the I don't have the yellow clothes yet. And her killers are not maxed, but it doesn't matter. She only has 200% uh plan killer, it doesn't matter. It's still enough. Carton. Hope you guys were able to get these weapons here. Any thunder weapon, and hopefully you have light and saber because it's really useful as having these two elements here. Hope you're able to have that. I don't really know. Like there's probably other ways of doing that then. You'll have to figure out another way of doing it if you don't have it. And just build for attack and killers. You have 300% plant, plant killer. And 200% quad killer, which is surprising. And this vision card, which is easily accessible, most likely. Not that big, not that big of a deal. Anyways, let's get into it. So make sure, like I said, make sure everybody is not in the negative in terms of ice. Wind or ice, water, and light. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and use cheer up, and we're also going to use. How about we're doing? I have it all written down. No, actually, we're not doing cheer up. My bad. We're actually doing Koopa Clang, and we're also doing Chronophony for the fire damage. Elena is going to dual cast and use Crystal Fragmentation and Protection of the Zero Crystal. Nicole is going to triple cast and he's going to use Water God's Rage. And he's going to use two times Flood. Edis is going to go ahead and uh I don't know it doesn't really matter too much what you use here because you're not gonna be doing many damage anyways, really. But three times hot shot for Laura and for Carton, Curse Gift, Shadow Judgment, and Hunting Barrage. And you can just let you can just let them all go at the same time because it's not really gonna do anything. And as you'll see, you'll survive just fine. There should be nothing going on. Only the only person that's taking damage at all is Elena, and it's only like a thousand damage. It's not that big of a deal. 
and Tidus will be poisoned, but it's still not a big deal at all. He's only he, he'll, he'll take some damage from poison, but he'll live. He'll live. Uh, but work. He's going to shift, but make sure you do this guy last because he's going to be imbuing. So don't imbue yet. And if you had more more gauge, then you would be able to use Hurricane Harmony. But unfortunately, this time around, it seems like I don't have enough. There was one run where I actually had more than enough to use that for some reason. I don't know how that happened. Plant Killer. And we're going to use Churro. Don't use it yet. Next, Triple Cast. And we're going to use both Heroines and Blessing the Azura Crystal. Nicole is going to manufacture their net site. And we are going to three times spiral cut. Doesn't matter too much. Three times hot shot. Three times shadow judgment. It's not gonna do any it's not really gonna do any damage because we're not imbued, but we can't do it, we can't do yet. Now we can let Bulwark use his stuff. And turn three is gonna be one damage turn. It's gonna be a little bit longer than before, guys. Somehow, if you're able to do, if you're able to get him under fifty percent on this turn, which I one hundred million percent doubt, if you're using this team, if you're using Oren, like Ex3 Oren, maybe I don't know how I don't know how well he would do, but um, anyways, Ellen is gonna shift, and we're gonna try to get uh, Nicole's in the first field. So that and AR chain. I try and fill Nicole's own first, which we did. We were successful. You want that own first filled? If you have EX2, you wouldn't have to worry about that at all. But I don't have EX2, so sadly I got to worry about that. That's why he has a lot of LB filled and stuff. I have to worry about that stuff. Shift over. Total ammunition, Earl Frenzy, SLB, and he's going to be using Nethosite this turn. So let T just go first a little bit and then let uh, the other two go after. Not going to do a lot of damage. That's why I said I'll, I'll be surprised if you're able to get um, to 50% or less. I don't think should happen. If something does happen, that'd be kind of strange. Because I've done several runs now, or I've just been the same result every time. So, as long as you don't mess it up, you're okay. So, turn four. That doesn't matter, by the way. His uh, auto attack. We don't. It doesn't matter. We're gonna shift. And we're going to use Chira, and we're going to use Chronophony, and we're going to use Cactuar Cantar. Elena is going to shift back to a brave shift form, and she's going to use both heroines and radiant shield. Nicole is just going to death the sight, and Tidus is going to use get really pumped. Doesn't matter that much, and spiral cut, and you can use energy rain if you'd like. Doesn't matter. It does. It really doesn't matter that much, as long as you're using. On this turn, as long as you're using some kind of chaining ability, it's fine. Hot shot. Nearly 1%. Oh, 2%. Nice, nice. We got 2% on that. Hey, at least it's moving the bar, guys. It's moving the bar. It's good enough for me. Now, at this point, if you weren't under 50%, you're going to have to guard this turn. But if you're under 50%, then you won't have to, I, I believe. But... There's absolutely no way with this team we're getting under 50% with anything. So maybe with like EX3 Warren and stuff, maybe you'd be able to do that. But I, I, I don't think you can on this team. Not possible. So we're going to break with Koopal Clang. We're going to use Chira. Elena is going to triple cast. Legendary Heroine, two times Radiant Shield because there really isn't anything else for her to do that turn. Death of Sight on Nicole, and these three are going to grab, making sure not to click on, make sure not to auto attack on them on accident. 
And if you were, if you did attack this turn, then unfortunately something bad may happen, like uh, sleep effects. For example, Cartoon is not naturally immune to sleep, so if you didn't have sleep immunity on him, then uh, he would be uh, slept, and you'd have to waste a turn. But thankfully, we don't have to do that because we followed the, followed this guide. So now we're going to use Triple Cast Hurricane Harmony. Now we can use it. Cheer up. And Chronophony. Elena is going to use Crystal Fragmentation and Protection of the Zero Crystal. And Nicole is going to net the site. And we're going to triple cast and we're going to use Get Real Pumped. It's fine. And we're going to do that. And we're going to use Triple Cast Hotshot. And we're going to use this turn, we're going to use Curse Gift back again. And two times Shadow Judgment. Me like a few percent, that'd be great. Nice. Good enough for me. Hitting in turn seven, we'll be guarding with our DPS yet again. So shift with bulwark. And we're going to use Hurricane Harmony and Chirrup. And we're also going to use Plankiller again. Elena is going to double cast and use. I oh know she should have triple cast. Yeah, triple cast, my bad. And we're going to use Blessing the Zero Crystal, Legendary Heroine, and Radiant Shield. And Nicole is going to net the sights again. And. We're gonna guard with all three of these. I know it's tempting to use his damage now, but don't do it now. Just don't damage him yet. And see, we're fine. Turn eight, hopefully we can get the kill, but I mean, we're not at 200% morale, unfortunately, but so hopefully we can get it. So we'll use Resounding Will for the huge buff. And Nicole is going to shift for his little first damage buff. And Ellen is going to shift over. And we're going to triple cast. Not that one. I, I keep fooling myself with that one. Piercing Prism. And we're going to use... I mean, it doesn't really matter that much. The, the other two. As long as you're using that, this, the other one. And we're going to triple cast. And we're just going to maybe shave off a few... Like 1% or something at least. With these two. We've shaved off a you know one percent or two, one or two percent. Feral frenzy, shift, bolt elimination, SLB. Hopefully this is enough. It is enough. Nice. So you don't actually need 200% morale. There were actually a few times where I was not getting enough damage, but I just proved that you don't need 200% morale in this in this build. So that's successful. That is absolutely foolproof. I know some people are going to say, oh, I don't have this or that. That's fine. I might be able to find other ways soon. If, you, if this guy is not good enough for you guys, please be patient. I might be able to find something else out, but for right now, that's as best as I can get. So, um, Titus is very accessible. He was free. Elena's free. I know the rest aren't, but, uh, hopefully you're able to get them. It seems the majority of you guys did pull for Elena, or, I mean, pull for Lore and Car Carton. I mean, yes, he's not free, but, I mean, he's only EX1, so it's possible to win. It's possible to win with EX1 of three, three EX1s. Uh, Titus is obviously the main star here. I'm glad that he was the damage dealer in this in this video. So thank you guys very much for watching. This is quite a long one. This is not the turn three clears you guys are usually, you know, expecting out of me, but there's no way we can do turn three clear this time around. Uh, it's just not possible. Maybe if you guys have Orin, maybe you could test out the damage and try to do this. Try to do this build with Orin instead of Tidus and see how that goes. Let me know in the comment section if you got EX3 Orin. And I want to see how much damage you guys can do. 
Keep in mind though, you can only do those you can only do damage on those turns unless you can under 50%. Uh during um turn three. And technically maybe turn four, but you're not gonna do much damage that turn. Uh if you're able to get him under 50% in turn three, uh, let me know. But I, I really doubt that. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Appreciate you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.